We've been lucky enough to ride our bikes in some amazing places around the world, ride some of the best trails, visit some of the coolest places, and share some of the best times. But what makes the perfect day on the bike? Trails, yep. <laughs> Friends, for sure. Amazing locations, beautiful views, I think so. So thanks to Visit Bentonville, we're here in the northwest corner of Arkansas to visit what they're calling the mountain bike capital of the world. Why Bentonville? Well, it certainly has put itself on the map for mountain biking in the last few years. A crazy amount of trails have been built here. Located in northwest Arkansas in the Ozark Mountains, it has fostered a mountain bike community by harnessing the forests and limestone to produce a massive variety of trails. Different riding zones and beginner to expert trails can be accessed directly from downtown. Bentonville is home of the corporate headquarters of Walmart, and it's this connection that's helped build a thriving network of trails. The Walton Family Foundation is the driving force behind this massive expansion. Their goal is to improve the quality of life for business and residents in their local community as well as further afield. Art, education, environment and mountain biking is not a normal combination of philanthropic themes, but you can see the effect it's really had on the forests, the town and the economy. Anyway, first things first, time to meet the guys for some breakfast. Right, are we, are we fueled up? Ready and raring. We are now gonna ride. <laughs> Heading over to downtown to meet a couple of people to show us around. Literally, the trails start about half a mile that way. Yeah. Cool. cool. Um, you boys ride, I'm going to get my drone. Oh, yes. Nice. The old saying goes, if you build it, they will come and the trails have fostered a thriving mountain bike community from diverse backgrounds. We saw kids out on their first rides, to school groups getting ready for a midweek cross-country race, to 70-year-olds enjoying the trails. There's a strong female riding presence with group rides and even a certain three-time mountain bike world champion from the Netherlands living in town. Let's catch up with a couple of the core people in the Bentonville mountain bike scene. Rich Drew is a name that will be familiar to some of you, and more than a handful of people asked me, when are you going to meet up with Rich when they saw we were in town? He's a former pro mountain bike racer turned coach and YouTuber, well known in the scene for his videos showing off the trails of Bentonville. How have you seen this place change in the last couple of years? Uh, the growth has been incredible, and there's nothing that captures um, the capital investment. The money is there, obviously, but you have the political will you have the community buy-in and you have the vision. We talked about Gary Vernon. You have all those things in place to drive the growth. From downtown, you can access, I don't know, 200 plus miles. It's just, yeah, it's, it's incredible. The amount of people that have come here to provide exposure has brought even more people and not just high level riders, but we have so many new riders here because it's such a friendly place for you to get your feet wet and catch that bug and then wanna just grow. Annika Beerton is a friend of GMBN and yes, a three-time world champion who's recently made the move to Bentonville from California. So Annika, where are you from and how did you end up in Bentonville? I'm from the Netherlands and I moved to California in around 2015 and just recently, three months ago, moved from California here to Bentonville. So would you still call yourself pro mountain biker? Um, 
yeah, I would say so. I mean, I retired last um, summer. I kind of had to decide to retire after a car accident uh, where I sustained a, a brain injury. And so I had to make the call and retire for racing, um, you know, but I still love riding my bike. I try to, you know, focus on different things now with um, coaching and giving back to the community. So that's what you're doing here in Bentonville, just still riding your bike, yes. coaching. Yeah, exactly. I just wanted a, a change. I felt a little bit stuck in California and um, just a fresh breath of air. And I thought like Bentonville has always been on my mind because the riding is amazing. The community is amazing. And I thought like, you know, why not? Let's do it. Let's pack up, move to Bentonville. And I love it. Yeah. So what's it like as a place to live? It's kind of like you know, they're calling it the capital, man by capital of the world, kind of like Disneyland yeah. here with so many places. What's it like to live in town? It's really, it's been really amazing. You just feel that the whole community is into cycling. Um, you know, even, even my neighbors, they all ride, you know, so it's so easy to make new friends and um, everybody just is very welcoming, you know, as you probably guys find out as well, like everybody rides and everybody, yeah, just loves this place. And there's, we're seeing all sorts of people on the trail. Is there a big women's scene here? It's really big. Yeah, there's a lot of females that ride here. They also have uh, the Women of Oz, which is, um, it started out three years ago, a really small group of girls that started, um, you know, inviting women to come out on rides with them. And they have hundreds of people now. First, first Saturday of the month, they all go out and ride. They have a lot of coaches that help out. So if you're a beginner or advanced rider, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, there's so many females that, that started riding because of them and just because the riding here is also very accessible. You know, there's all kind of riding here, like easy trails, more difficult trails. So it's very welcoming to for, for a lady or woman to start riding. So we've had just a taste of the huge amount of trails around town to ride at your leisure. But if participation is more of your thing, then there's a race scene as well, with even midweek cross country racing having a big following. Right then, Bentonville has not only just got an amazing riding scene, it does have an amazing race scene as well. And I've come along to one of the local ones today, which starts at the pub. Brits take note because this is a great idea and I'm sure the rest of the crew probably agree. So we are at the Peddler's Pub where they're just briefing everyone out on an XC marathon race. It's a 40 mile loop all around the sort of the local trails, bits on road. And just look, I mean, the weather is typically British, but there's still such a great turnout. Riders are just about to come out now to get to the start line. So let's head on over to the start and see just how it goes. <laughs> there we go then, enthusiasm by the bucket load. Riders are off, it's a neutral start. They'll head through town before they get off road. Have a good one. The Bentonville Bike Fest has been going strong since 2020 with pro riders heading into town to take over the trails and everyone can get involved. There's a women's shred with Annika, enduro racing, a Strider Cup, trial shows with another Bentonville resident, Kenny Belay, plus night rides and loads of live music. Five minutes down the road from downtown Bentonville, there's the Cola Mountain Bike Preserve, another riding spot well known for its natural drops and jumps. Further afield, there's way more riding locations like Bella Vista, oh, Eureka yeah. Springs, Ponca, Rogers and Lowell, Springdale, and loads more. There's plenty of guides and shuttle companies if you need some help, like us, to find the best trails, and shops are aplenty to keep you going. We had a great first few days of riding and scouting out the trails around town and met loads of people out on the trails. So we did a first for GMBN. We organized a ride out to meet some of the amazing GMBN fans, and from one little Instagram post, it's fair to say we were blown away by what happened that day. We were, we were like hoping two or three people would turn up and there's, I actually can't see, but there's too, much, too many people to see, it's crazy. It's amazing, there. It's fun. So many people just session jumps. Hi, 
I am overwhelmed, Jack. This is incredible. Like, I am actually emotional. When I pulled up at the top of the plaza, I was a bit like, whoa. Like a dude that makes videos in the woods and comes here, oh, it's ridiculous. Big trains? Huge trains. The biggest train I've ever been in. I thought I've been in some big ones at Whistler, but here, out beats Whistler. <laughs> Well, we've lost a, a lot of people are out on the hills now riding. I'm having a quick break. Neil was just helping me along because I'm not going very fast. But an amazing amount of people have turned up. It's absolutely nuts. Um, and I think that's sort of a testament to the vibe in Bentonville, really. That's what we sort of experienced. That everyone's just super stoked and into it and supportive. It's pretty, pretty incredible. <laughs> Pretty much the whole entire town of Bentonville is here riding right now. Such an awesome day. So many people turned up. So many friendly folk. It's well good. It's it's odd, like thanks, buddy. It's crazy how like into it everyone in Bentonville is. How enthusiastic. I flipping love it. I mean, I'm coming back even. <laughs> What a crazy week in Bentonville of bikes, beers, burritos, and brilliant times. The whole town seems to be on board with mountain biking. There's bike racks all over town and the locals seem to love it. We hardly scratch the surface of the riding, but what about that tagline, the mountain bike capital of the world? We heard it mentioned more than a few times during the week and is often accompanied by, but there aren't any mountains. But what they've done with the modest hills is incredible. The variety of trails and the sheer volume is like nowhere I've been before. Plus in winter, they have about 130 full-time trail builders in town, adding on average of two miles of trails every week of the year. Well, I don't know anywhere else in the world that's doing that to an already thriving mountain bike scene. So it's very hard to argue with the tagline, the mountain bike capital of the world. Because if you don't agree, then maybe just wait a few more weeks.